What's up fellow hunters, Nox here, welcome to another exciting build video. Today we're going to talk about the best rapid fire pierced light bowgun build for endgame. I'm going to show an augmented version first to cover all skills. Then we take a look at the actual augments and then a augment free budget version. Let's get right into it. Bullet Rain X. This is the final form of pierced light bowgun. I'm using a rapid fire level 3 talisman. To get all the essentials, it only needs a level 3 and level 1 slot. You can get that super easily with the Cyclos melding now. Weapon of choice is the Primordial Malzino LBG. It has insanely good slots and the best ammo capacity for pierce level 2 rapid fire. For the weapon augments, you have two options. You can either go for 30 points in raw attack, or you can go for 20 points in attack and 10% affinity. Both options work well here. The first thing we need to address is the gun performance. This is very important and can actually change your playstyle. We have reload speed, recoil down and steadiness at level 3. This will improve reload speed, gun recoil, accuracy and range. These are essential and should not be removed. However, steadiness can be lowered to level 2 if you like. Ammo up level 2 will simply add one extra bullet to the pierce level 2 clip. And we also have tune up level 1. This will give us an additional level of reload speed on top of reload speed level 3. But only if we have no gun mods equipped. Here's how that looks. On the right, you can see that we have no gun mod equipped. And when looking at pierce level 2 on the left, we can see that the reload speed is set at fastest. If we decide to use a long barrel, you can see that the reload speed for pierce level 2 goes down to fast. But you will of course get the extra attack from the long barrel instead. These two are the best customization setups for this gun. I recommend trying out both and choosing whatever you like better. I went for the fastest possible reload in this video. On a side note, pushing tune up to level 2 will increase the attack boost you get from long barrels. So definitely keep that in mind. Now we're gonna take a look at the damage increasing skills. Since we're using pierce ammo, the first thing is of course pierce up. Increasing the damage of all pierce ammo by 20%. Following that, we of course have Rapid Fire Up, which at level 3 adds another 20% damage to any ammo used with Rapid Fire. Next we have Spare Shot to give us a 25% chance to not expend ammo while firing. This will indirectly increase DPS as well. Outside of our bowgun specific skills, we have a ton of other damage increasing factors, starting with a max affinity setup. We have Critical Eye, Maximum Might, the Daora Soul Rampage Deco, Weakness Exploit and Bloodlust. The first three skills will give us a potential 85% affinity at all times. And with either of the two remaining skills active, we hit 100% affinity, giving this build a very consistent critical hit ratio even without hitting weak spots, which is perfect for pierce ammo. And of course we have critical boost to go along with that. If you want to rely more on weakness exploit for your affinity, you can swap out the waste for the Risen Shigaru one. That will give you maximum weakness exploit. But keep in mind that you'll have to adjust some of the other skills then. Next we have attack boost level 7 for a big increase to raw attack. Same thing goes for Mail of Hellfire on the red scroll. This will give us another 15 to 35 attack depending on the level of the skill. We also have Coalescence which will activate automatically with Bloodlust and add another 12 attack. Burst will add further damage as well since we're constantly landing hits. And then we also have Sneak Attack level 2. This will increase damage by 10% when attacking a monster from behind its middle point. This will happen quite often with light bowguns since we have a bit of distance and great mobility. The skill is optional though, so you can choose to replace it with anything else if you like. Powder Mantle is a really nice damage bonus to have on rapid fire bowguns. It's super easy and quick to activate, which is great for extra DPS and stopping force. Aside from that, we also have Evade Extender, Intrepid Heart and Heaven Sent for extra comfort. Evade Extender makes it super easy to maneuver around the monster and get out of the way of attacks. And in case we do get hit, we have Intrepid Heart and Heaven Sent which both reduce incoming damage. Altogether, this build is incredibly powerful while also being comfortable to play. It's a great option for any hunt. This is what my current augments are looking like if you're trying to recreate a similar version of the build. Underneath the augmentation status, you can see which augmenting method I used. Cool thing is, we're using three pieces that can all sacrifice a skill to use one of the advanced augmenting methods. The helmet, chest and waist all have one level of Mail of Hellfire. For the arms, I simply went for slot upgrades, and the legs have one level of maximum might. But that one could have been any level 2 skill from the decoration list. Nothing specific is required here. Now that we covered everything, let's take a look at the augment free budget version. All of the essential skills are intact. 
you can see that this build is very complete without any augments. The only big difference is that we're missing Mail of Hellfire and Coalescence for extra damage and the Evade Extender for added comfort. Aside from that, it stays nearly the same. This is a build with a very strong starting point. The augment recommendations are of course what we saw in the augment section of the video. But there is one additional skill I can highly recommend for ranged weapons, and that is having one level of guts. It's a very valuable skill if you're having trouble with any certain fight. It has the same effect as Moxie and can save you from a fatal attack once. And even if you do faint, the skill is reset when you get sent back to camp. Which means once you restart it from camp, the skill can save you once again from one fatal attack. There's also a crazy strong spread LBG build coming soon, so make sure you stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.